Hi guys, I'm Mike. Welcome back to our Forest Restoration Project. I'm going to take you through the next few videos uh, actually working in the booth with me. We're going to be using our SADA 5000 RP digital series uh, for our gun. This gun is set up with a 1.3 tip. I'm also reading a bar system, which is a barometric pressure as opposed to PSI. So I'm spraying everything between 1.7 and 1.8 bar out of this gun. My filters are set up between 3 and 4 bar, depending on what I'm doing. So what we want to do is just kind of see how to complete a panel, um, how close I'm getting to the panel, what kind of profile I'm matching with the gun, uh, speed and distance, and uh, might be helpful in, uh, if your first time going at this to actually put some of the stuff in. Not too bad once you get the hand. So let me get my gear going and let's get started. Okay guys, we're on the home stretch here now. Uh, finishing up the last of the miscellaneous parts that I want to be spraying here. Today we're just going to be shooting epoxy, so I want everything out that's going to get a primer coating. Also, we're going to do uh, bottom side of the hood in uh, a rocker schutz. Got some new paint gun technology in here we're going to go over in a little bit. Uh, this is what's known as a schutz gun, and uh, I'm going to be shooting some of this 3M schutz to try and replicate the, uh, the hardness and the texture of our factory hood. So I'm going to have these two side by side and uh, try and get there and uh, see if we can get that real close. And then also, once we figure out that pattern, we want to go a little bit heavier pattern on our gas tank. This is going to be base coated and clear coated on top of that. And then uh, we got our doors. We need to seal these up, get them scuffed up, and uh, finish painted on those. So also, I've got a tripod set up here. I'm going to go over some of these processes with you guys. Um, some of the things I, I work on the booth here uh, you never see, and it would be very helpful if you did see it. So what I got here, a couple razor blades, and uh, what I'm doing is uh, when I'm painting, I'm actually going to lift this up, and I'm going to wedge that in there and use a piece of wire while I'm painting. And uh, obviously I can't do it by holding the camera, but hopefully this tripod uh, be able to get in there and show you what I'm doing and how to get around it without having any accidents. So there it is, with the exception of the engine cover, the back side, this is pretty much going to do it to complete our paint job and uh, all the parts we need to start assembling our car. After we get done with final painting, then we're going to move on to uh, undercoating, and then after that, we're ready to assemble. Okay, let me get the camera gear going, set up, and let's get started. Okay guys, first thing we want to do, we want to do a dry run and make sure we can do it successfully before we get any paint going. So I'm going to get the gun staged here, and all I'm trying to do is reach in there. I want to spray both sides of this, and then I want to take a razor blade, once I like where I got it. out of there. That's basically what we're trying to do. So, looks like it's going to work. The main thing is when you're doing this, not to be panicky, you've got plenty of time. The nice thing about solvent paints is uh, you don't have to really be in a big hurry to get around the part, especially if we're breaking it down to panels. Now, if I had this booth full of parts, um, and yeah, then you got all kinds of things you're worrying about. Too many things at the same time. So, uh, first, guy, first time uh, guy doing this, uh, do the shelter. Really better to break it down and, and just go slow. Okay, let's get some epoxy mixed up and uh, let's get a chat.
guys, so here we have our new uh, Schitt's type gun, Eastside County made. I've uh, got this from Eastwood, about $200 for this guy. Um, the reason I went with this one is because it has an adjustable tip. Uh, this is where we're going to get most of our adjustment to get our patterns here. A lot of these guns don't have this feature, we'll just uh, hook it up and go. Um, also you have some trigger control, although we probably won't be using this one. And air delivery, they're recommending um, 3 to 4 bar, which converts to 45 to 60 pounds. Air delivered to it. And the way this works, take this cup off of here. So the ship's product comes in like a typical one quart can. They have a special special thread on them designed to go kind of gooey looking stuff. Um, it's just designed to thread right in there, real simple to do. If you don't have a quart can, then you can just fill it in here and uh, clean it up when you're done. This is pretty cool though. And then you gotta put this back on, seal it up so it's like down properly. Okay, that's it. Let's uh, let's adjust this guy out and see what she looks like. Four bar. Okay guys, uh, just did our uh, rocker ships on our hood and I, I switched over to a different product, uh, sprayed out some test samples first and then shot our gas tank. This is what I'm using here. I got this from Summit Racing, uh, although you could probably get this anywhere. Uh, shelf item, it's a solvent based material, but 
I'm telling you, this is it. This is the magic bullet for undercoating. This sprays out of that gun so smooth and covers so nice. Um, I'm going to go back over that hood and just clean it up with this product. This is unbelievable. This is uh, made by Rust-Oleum. They call it undercoating. Uh, really stinky, so you know it's got some nasty stuff in there. The more nasty stuff is in there, the better it's going to be. And uh, I think this is going to paint up real nice. They want to wait an hour between coats and uh, 24 hours before recoating um, with the paint. So looks like a real nice quality product. And, and I'm telling you, this, this looks factory Porsche. This looks like it just rolled out of 1967. Unbelievable. So there it is. That's the magic bullet. I'm not going to go with the Transtar. Um, shot up some nice small samples with it but when I got to a larger piece uh, wasn't quite working out for me and then did a little bit more research and uh, they have recently gone out of business uh, from what I've heard so I'm um, gonna gonna switch over from the Transtar to this Rust-Oleum this is just amazing I mean it's beautiful and I'll still put my uh, my satin or my uh, dull sheen top coat over the top of it just to give it some toughness but uh, that's going to be it. That's going to do a real beautiful job in nice and black to finish this project. So before we wrap up today, I thought I'd show you why the undercoating from Rust-Oleum sprays out so much nicer. You can see the lid and how thick and dried out looking the 3M brand is. And actually, I still have this much in the bottom of the can. So what's happening is it's so dry in its content, its mix ratio. You can see under the lid there. It's still hanging on to the sides of the can. Um, this, this can ran out, almost didn't finish the hood, barely got through it with this. This is about $60 for this one can, so this would work all right for maybe a small spray out, but anything large, it's going to be difficult to get through it because it's so dry. It's almost like spraying uh, drywall texture out of a hopper gun, if you've ever done that. Very, very similar. And then also our Rust-Oleum over here, the reason it uh, goes through the gun so well. See up here in the light here. Uh, if you look down on the side of the can there, you can see it's sliding down the can as opposed to our 3M. It's still stuck on the side. So the guys at Rust-Oleum have really figured this out. It's got enough oils in there to let it really go through that gun and do a nice job. And like a real nice thick tar substance. Just beautiful stuff. This is this is really quite a find here. Once in a while, you get a shelf item that really surprise you. So don't have to spend the big money all the time to get a nice finish. This guy was about sixty dollars for this almost not quite a quart, and this one was seventeen from Summit. So real good price at Summit Racing. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it for you. Next up, we'll do some base coat and clear coat on some more parts, get through the whole panel, and show you that process. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.